Rumors claim that the iPhone 6 might support LTE Advanced. Pebble recruits some old WebOS employees to bring some love to its UI. And HTC announces it's one of for Windows, and it is exactly that. I'm Jaime Rivera, and this message will self-destruct in around three and a half minutes if my calculations are correct. This is Parker Now Daily. Let's begin today with what's official as HTC has just unveiled the Butterfly 2 to other markets. If you remember, the Jade Butterfly was recently announced for KDDI in Japan, and as of September 2nd, the Butterfly 2 will also be available, which is pretty much the same device, only available in other markets, and uh, hopefully we will be getting a Droid variant in Verizon eventually, or any other variant in the United States. But yeah, this is pretty much a 1M8 with better specifications and a waterproof chassis, which makes it a really hot product to look forward to. Another interesting official news, Pebble is the company that has not decided to adopt Android Wear yet. Uh, we wonder how long it'll take them, but for now the company has looked for another even smarter approach. They've just hired some WebOS employees in order to work on the UX and the whole user experience. And this is a very interesting addition as WebOS was really greatly designed. Its biggest problem was the underpowered hardware, but uh, let's see how the Pebble UI will work eventually as hopefully they'll bring some color. And if you're still considering a Moto X, uh, don't forget that the event is happening in the next couple of days, but uh, the company is looking for some deals. They want to obviously get rid of current hardware, so they're offering the Moto X with a wooden back for the same price tag as you're getting for the plastic back, which is great. Uh, even though, again, it's really hard for us to recommend the, the Moto X right now as the Moto X Plus One or whatever the name is going to be, should be launched in the next couple of days. And uh, even so, uh, the only reason why I would buy it is because we're not really sure if there would be a wooden back on this future Moto X plus one. Now let's talk about Apple and the iPhone 6 as we get more leaks on the logic board. And this time it seems that Apple is upgrading the Qualcomm LTE chip that it'll be using for its cellular radio. And uh, what's most interesting about the cellular radio is the fact that it includes support for LTE Advanced. Now, bear in mind, that doesn't mean that there will be the service activated on the phone. It means that the hardware is capable. Uh, so could it be that Apple is planning to include this service for everyone, even if it's only available in certain markets in Asia? Uh, or could it be that it's planning to have its own prime iPhone as uh, other OEMs are doing, but uh, without the need of building more hardware? What we do know is that the chip is capable, uh, but again, it's kind of pointless for the rest of the world. And finally, for the very hot news of the day, HTC has just unwrapped its 1M8 for Windows, and it's pretty much a 1M8 that runs Windows Phone. It is the same phone specifications and everything, which is actually a great thing, as the 1M8 has a great design. I don't think there was a need for a change in hardware. This is perfect, though we don't know if it'll dual boot eventually. Uh, the only problem with the phone is that it's currently exclusive to Verizon for $100 after a two-year contract. The price tag is actually not bad, um, and it's a great phone for those of you that want Windows Phone and that want this design, but that leads me to the question of the day. Link to the description for our full video coverage on this phone. Tell us what you think. Would you buy one? Because in my particular case, uh, I would love one, but I would even love it more if it could dual boot. But leave us a comment down below and do not forget our black phone giveaway. Link to the description for that as the giveaway is selected. Friends, yes, you know the drill. If you want to get the news earlier before this video is filmed, make sure you follow us on FoggingOut.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you tomorrow.